on camera in a while. Do you have anything? Sure. Welcome back to Plant Style Plastic. I'm Basil. I don't know how to cook. Welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita and I bring you recipes that are delicious, inexpensive, simple, and healthy. Today's recipe has a little bit of a story behind it. So I have a guilty pleasure that is Taco Bell. Um, their vegan menu is actually really good and when I don't feel like cooking and I just wanna order some quick food, I will go there sometimes. Um, I always get their burritos with black beans, but I really like their refried beans. So. I decided that I wanted to try to come up with a homemade option that kind of combined those two things, um, refried beans, but with black beans instead. I didn't realize until I was prepping for this video that the way that we actually ended up making them was super close to the way that refried beans are already made. The thing that's different about my recipe, aside from using black beans instead of pinto beans, is I actually use a habanero pepper instead of a jalapeno, which is more traditional. I love habaneros. I think that when you're putting them into a large volume of food, they actually don't have that much spice and their flavor is super unique. My recipe also has two times more fiber, a fourth of the fat and 40% less sugar than a store-bought option. I'll share more information about the nutrition facts at the end of the video, but if you want all the details, you can go to my blog, plantsnotplastic.com, where I'll have a full nutrition label that links out to Chronometer. This recipe is really simple. It's just four ingredients with salt to taste. So you'll need a 30 ounce can of black beans. Um, if you're using homemade, that's three cups of cooked beans with 12 ounces of cooking water. A quarter of a medium yellow onion diced. Three cloves of garlic minced. And one habanero finely diced. You're gonna start by putting your habanero, onion, and garlic into a medium saucepan and then you're gonna saute them on a medium low heat just to brown them. This will take between three to six minutes depending on how big of a burner you have. So same as other stovetop recipes that I've shown you, you're waiting for that caramelization. Once you see that, you're ready for your next step. And without using any oil, water, or vegetable broth, you'll be able to just naturally unstick um, that caramelization from the bottom of the pan and get all that flavor back into the recipe. After I've stirred it all together and gotten all that flavor off the bottom, I'm going to turn it up to a high heat, get it up to a boil. All right, now that it's up to a boil, I'm just gonna reduce it to a simmer, stir it one more time, and leave it with the lid off to cook for 25 minutes. And then the last thing to do is mash them. It really might not look like much, but it smells awesome and it tastes even better. So I made myself like a mini burrito with rice, the refried beans, and um, some of my salsa from last week. It's very tortilla-y. I you were gonna reach for one. Hmm. Better if you like scoop extra on top. It's got a good kick. Woo! The onions, garlic, and beans is really what makes the recipe, but you can swap it out for pinto beans if you want more of a classic refried bean. Um, you can also use a jalapeno or a serrano instead of a habanero if you don't want it to be quite as hot. Also sometimes like a really good kick from habaneros and I'll put two into the recipe rather than one. I don't mind my refried beans with a little bit of texture, but if you wanted them to be really smooth, you could put them through um, a sieve after you mashed them um, so that you would basically like strain out the skins. You could also add chipotle powder or chili powder for a little bit of smokiness, but I honestly use habaneros because I think that they add a really unique, um, like warm kind of tangy spice that is just awesome in this recipe. I put this into a little burrito, but it really did start for me as trying to come up with like a black bean dip. So you could use it with chips. You could just put it over rice and beans. Pretty much any way that you would use refried beans normally, you can swap that out for this and it'll be great. 
In terms of cost, um, my homemade option is going to be pretty similar um, to what a store-bought option would be. Um, buying like a pre-canned refried bean is going to be between 75 cents to a dollar. Mine is 80 cents. In terms of the nutrition facts per 500 calories, my recipe has 37 grams of fiber with just two grams of sugar and just over two grams of fat with a decent amount of vitamins and minerals. I did a couple of comparisons for this one, um, the closest being a um, canned vegan refried bean. And um, it has 20 grams of fiber with about three grams of sugar and over eight grams of fat with pretty minimal vitamins and nutrients. I also compared it to the more traditional um, pinto refried beans, both vegetarian and not. Um, and both of those also have less fiber, more sugar, and more fat with limited vitamins and minerals. In general, buying a canned option from the store is gonna be more processed than something that you've made at home, and you're gonna be missing out on some of the good nutrients that you would get by making the recipe yourself with whole plant foods. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please do subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I put out new content. You can also subscribe to my blog at plantsnotplastic.com as well as follow me on social media. All that information is detailed below in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.